Hello guys, so today there is something important I want us to look at. So there is this thing I have come across over and over again, and that is how to properly connect your ethane conductors in the switchboard or the consumer unit. Okay, so this is a consumer unit. Here you can see the earth bar for connection of the various circuit protective conductors to the various circuits in the wiring. And then when you come to this other side, you can also see the neutral bar for connection of all the neutral conductors. Okay, but then usually there is one connection that most electricians leave out when doing the connections in a switchboard or in a consumer unit like this. When you look at the upper side of this consumer unit, and this actually is found in any switchboard or any consumer unit that has a metal casing. You always see this boat and knot with the ethane sign. Most of the time, electricians leave this connection out. For this building alone, this is the second I have noticed. The first one is actually a changeover switch. And then anytime you see a terminal with this sign, it means that this whole thing must be connected to earth. And then this is the point that has been provided for that connection to earth. Okay. Now, the same way when you come to the main switch, though you have the earth terminal bar here, this earth connection must not be ignored. All right, so in this video, we are going to look at how to properly wire the switchboard and then connect every part appropriately. This bar enables us to connect all our circuit protective conductors to earth. And so this bar itself must be connected to the earth that is buried for the installation. So for us to properly connect the system to earth, we would have to connect this bar also to the metal casing of the switchboard. And this is the terminal that is provided for that connection. And so it must be connected. Now, this is what you can do. For proper connection between this terminal and then this point, we would have to use a cable log to do that properly. All right, and when using cable logs, you need a crimping tool. This is a simple tool for crimping your cable log to your cables. So here you can see that the main earth conductor is already connected to the earth bar to which the other circuit protective conductors are connected. But then this connection that is left here must also be connected. In this case, you realize that the overall conductor of the cable was able to enter freely into the terminal on this bar and so there is no problem with this connection the only thing that was left out is the connection between this bar and then the main housing of the switchboard okay so that is what we are going to do now so here for proper connection to the frame or the housing of the switchboard we need a cable log to do that connection okay so you get a cable log like this you crimp it like this Okay, all right, so you crimp it very tight. So first we lose this. And then you set it here. Then there is a washer you place on it. And then you use the knot on it and tighten it securely. Okay, then you use your spanner to securely tighten it all right that is properly done so now we send this cable and then we connect it to the ethan bar like this and make sure it is properly tightened okay so from here to the top. So that is correct. In case the terminals on the earth bar are big enough to accommodate the ethane conductor. Otherwise, if the ethane conductor used is bigger than the terminals on this bar, in that case, you may have to get another cable log and then put it on the big ethane conductor and then crimp it as we did earlier. 
like this. So what it means is that we will have to remove this. So here, this one will be our main ethane conductor. So we add it to this one. Then we bring our washer and then we bring the knot and then we secure it tightly to the frame. Every connection must be properly tightened, very tight. All right, so in that case, our main ethane conductor came here and then we took a tight connection to the earth bar. And for this to be properly done, you need the cable logs to do that. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Please, if you find this video helpful, share with your friends to also benefit from it. And in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post my next video.